What's this? A letter for me. Welcome to another episode of Remember the Great Sports Through the Mail Thursdays. Uh, recently I've been getting back a lot of vintage era baseball autographs uh, from the 1950s and 60s. Uh, I think this, these three that I'm going to share with you are also from that era. Uh, we're going to open them up and definitely check them out. So to get started, let me just pull this op first one open. And uh, I'm not showing my envelopes because every time I stick an envelope in front of the camera, it seems to like autofocus and get all blurry. So I'm just doing this off camera. You live and you learn after you shoot a lot of these. This is the way I look at it. And the uh, first one that I received back is from former Pittsburgh Pirate Great slash Kansas City A Great, Hal W. Smith on one, two, three, and four. And Hal W. Smith was actually on that 1960 Pirates World Championship team. Uh, he was primarily the backup catcher to Smokey Burgess on that team. Uh, he was a very good player for a very, very long time. Very solid catcher. Um, you know, he had a couple of years where he was the primary catcher on a couple teams that he caught on. Uh, although he wasn't always um, the starting catcher on every team. Um, now, to point out, there is another Hal Smith that played during the same era. Uh, he was a three-time All-Star, also played for the St. Louis Cardinals, among some other teams. I'll probably post a picture of him right there, just so you can see the comparison between the two. But this is Hal W. Smith, not Hal R. Smith, I believe it is. So, just to make sure that if you watch this video and you decide you want to try to write Mr. Smith, that make sure you look at your birthdays and below I will give you the information so you can get to this Hal Smith's birthday because the other Hal Smith is now deceased and he will not be able to sign and obviously that's not the same Hal Smith. So just wanted to point that out before we go any further. So Mr. Smith uh, came up 20, at 24 years old with the Baltimore Orioles. Uh, that would have been after the Orioles moved from St. Louis to Baltimore. Um, shortly thereafter. Uh, he spent two seasons with the Orioles before he went to the Kansas City A's, which is in that 58 tops right there. Not in the best shape, but for getting autographs. That's all I care about. Um, he spent one, two, three, four seasons with the Kansas City A's, and that's where he had his best season. That in 1957, he batted 303 and hit 13 home runs while catching for the Kansas City A's. Uh, he would come closer to that season a couple other times where he batted 295 with 11 home runs with that 1960 Pirates team. But uh, he was kind of platooned with Smokey Burgess on that team, so he didn't. Uh, he wasn't playing as full-time as he was when he was with Kansas City. So after he played with Kansas City, as I mentioned, he was on that 60 Pirates team. After he left the Pirates, he caught a couple seasons with the Houston, that might be the Colt 45s, not the Astros. I'd have to pull that up, but I'm not going to go into I, I believe that was the Colt 45s. That was before they changed their name to the Astros. And he finished his last season in 1964 as the catcher on the Reds, as a backup catcher on the Reds. So overall, he played 10 years. Four of them with the Kansas City A's, two with the Pirates, two with the Colt 45s, two with the Orioles, and one with the Reds. So thank you, Mr. Smith, very, very much for signing these autographs. Um, I've had some of these cards in my collection for quite some time, but being that I've been finding a lot of vintage cards lately, I decided to put four of them together and ask you to sign them. So thank you very much. All right, so this next one, I believe... It's from that era as well. I'm going to open up. There is indeed a former utility man for about 12 years in the majors, actually. And also a Kansas City Athletic. So this would have been a teammate of Hal Smith's, actually. And that is... Former... Kansas City A, 
Lou Klimchak on one, two, and three. All I have was three on this guy. So I sent him three. Uh, you can see that somebody scratched it out and wrote Cleveland 65, it looks like. Is that what year he was there? No, he was there in 69. That's Cleveland 69 on that card. So uh, he came up with the A's at a very young age of 18 in 1958. He also was there in 1959. That was a big thunder. Wow, I guess it's storming outside, but a big thunderbolt just, <laughs> just hit. Um, and he only played parts of the 58, 59, 60 season. He only appeared in two 17 and 10 games. So that would explain the dual rookies here, the 1960 and the 61 tops. Um, in 61, it appears that he made the team. He appeared in 57 games as a utility infielder. Uh, the following year, however, he was with the Milwaukee Braves. So he was with Kansas City for four seasons, then the Braves. Um, following his time with the Braves, he spent time with the Washington Senators. Uh, he went back to the Braves. He played for the Mets. Then he played for the Cleveland Indians. So bounced around a little bit um, throughout his career. But uh, overall, he appeared in 318 games over his 12-year career. Had a lifetime 232 batting average. Uh, 13 home runs and 155 hits. He batted left-handed, so he was that needed left-handed off the bench, you know, left-handed bat off the bench, uh, and also could play third and second base. So thank you, Mr. Klimchak. Uh, I know one of my viewers is trying to collect the 1960 set signed. You know, that, that sounds like a heck of a task. So if you haven't written Mr. Klimchak yet, you might want to consider doing so. All right. So we have another one postmarked from Florida, and if I am correct, this is another player from that era. <laughs> oh wow. He actually wrote a note, and I will, I will share that with you in a second. But it is indeed former New York Yankee, among others, Bill Short on one, two, three, and a fourth 1961 as well. So I actually had three of those 1960 Topps rookie cards that he signed for me. Now I have a little funny note here that I'll share with you after I talk about his career, but um, Bill Short was a uh, lefty reliever. Uh, he was, you know, 5'9", 170 pounds, not a, not a real intimidating sized guy, but he had that left-handed arm. Uh, he was on the 1960 Yankees, so that was his rookie season. Uh, he, however, I don't know where he was in 61 because I only have major league stats, but I'm going to assume that he was probably in the minor leagues that year. So after the 61 season, he then became a Baltimore Oriole after that 61 season. He spent two seasons with Baltimore, actually one and a half seasons, and it appears that he was traded mid-season to the Boston Red Sox. Uh, he finished up the 66 season with the Red Sox and went to the Pirates the following year. In 1968, he was on the Mets, appearing in 34 games, which was the most of his career. After the 68 season, he went to Cincinnati, appearing in only four games. So I don't know if he was injured that year or, he, you know, he was up and down in the minors. So after the 69 season, uh, he retired. So... Even though he's depicted on two New York Yankees cards, he actually only played one season in the major leagues for the Yankees. So here's the funny part. As you can see, uh, you guys know that I get a lot of vintage cards, you know, from some of my previous videos and my autographs and my pickups. But as you can see, sometimes I get cards, and I'll hold it up a little closer so you can see it, that kids will scratch out the name of the team and then they will write the name of the team that they're on. Okay, so you can clearly see that some kid, not me, scratched out that he was a New York Yankee and they wrote Phils, you know, like the Phillies. So just now when I open this, <laughs> the note that he wrote on the back of the letter that I sent him, and I'm going to keep this letter forever now, was this. Sorry, fell over there. Chris Short was with the Phillies. 
was with Phillies. He didn't put the in there. Chris Short was with Phillies. So I don't know if he felt that I should, I should know that or that he actually thought that I scratched that out and wrote Phillies on that card. But this is the first time I've actually had somebody respond on my note saying that you got the wrong short. And I knew that. I knew this, I know who Chris Short is. Chris Short was one of the best pitchers on the Phillies teams back when they in the early 60s with uh, some of the other pitchers on that staff. I mean, he was he was, you know, Kurt Simmons and you know, I don't know if Jim Bunny was a Philly at that point, but but I know who Chris Short was. Um, he was he was a very good pitcher for a long time. Uh, so I thought that was kind of funny when he, when I opened this up just now and there was a note on the back saying Chris Short was with Phillies. I'm like, yeah, I knew that. I guess I guess he thought that I uh, decided to deface his card and write Phillies down, and I had his name wrong. So, anyways, uh, kind of a light humor thing. Uh, kind of glad I waited to the last envelope for that one, but uh, thank you, Mr. Short. Uh, I'm fully aware that you're a Yankee, Oriole, <laughs> etc. Red. Um, thank you, Mr. Quimchok, you know, for signing those. And more importantly, thank you, Mr. Hal Smith. I had never gotten your autograph before. So, actually, I haven't gotten any of these guys' autographs before, but thank you, Mr. Hal W. Smith, for signing. Uh, if you guys have any of these vintage cards laying around, you might want to definitely consider writing these guys. If you write Bill Short, just make sure a kid doesn't scratch out a card and write Phillies next to it, nor send him Chris Short cards. Sounds like if you sent him Chris Short cards, he probably wouldn't sign them. <laughs> that'd, be my, that'd be my guess. So thanks for watching. Look forward to your comments below.